where the BMV uh, office is. Um, and it, we had, at that time, we averaged about 35 people a Sunday, and now they average about eight or nine. It's just a, sad to see it go down as it have. But, you know, I think back, and I, it, the first thing that I think of is the amazing pastors we had at that church. Um, Lester and Marjorie Snyder um, were both pastors there at different times. And when I was eight years old, I still remember I, vividly uh, sitting out in the congregation, and, and there was an altar call. There were several up front, and including my, my older brother. And I remember feeling a stir in my, just in my soul that God was calling me. I knew of God. I'd gone to church my whole life, but I hadn't really necessarily stepped out and accepted him. Again, I'm eight years old, and I felt this hand on my shoulder, and it was Lester Schneider, and he had come around from the back, and he said, would you like to go forward? And I didn't even stop to think. I just knew that was it. And I went forward and accepted Christ that day, and it's just been a, a journey since then. And, you know, if I wouldn't have had those kind of people that took, took interest in my spiritual life, um, to take the risk to come out and, and ask me to do that, um, you know, that, that's what it takes sometimes. And, you know, Marcel Thornburg, uh, another great man and wonderful pastor, has such fond memories of, of that church. Um, from there, we, Karen and I got married. We, uh, she was, had attended a larger church in Richmond, and I was going to a smaller church, so we kind of compromised, started going to Winchester Friends, and uh, Keith Kendall was a pastor there at that time. Some of you probably know Keith, and uh, Keith uh, is an extremely uh, good man, pastor, uh, and, and we, we, unfortunately, he ended up leaving a few months after we got there. I don't think it had anything to do with us, but... Um, but really like Keith, and, and uh, uh, so we started attending there and went to that church for the next 18 years of my life. And, you know, again, fond memories, I think, of the church family. Um, you know, again, the pastors, we had Ralph Lohman and, and uh, Roger Huffman. Uh, uh, let's see, Roger was a pastor at White River. He actually started attending that church and spoke a few times. He didn't pastor there, but his brother Max did. And uh, Max and his wife now live in Muncie, I believe, and uh, Max was an amazing guy. Um, and I just learned so much under some of those pastors and grew very close to, to the uh, uh, church family we had there. We had a couple lay witness missions at that church, uh, and it was very powerful, and a lot of people accepted the Lord through those. Um, we then, that, again, that was about 10, 11 years ago, uh, at that time, we, my family was feeling like that God was calling us to do something different. And, um, you know, we, we wasn't sure exactly what that was to be. I was on the ministry and oversight committee at that church, and we had a thing where each of our team members was going to go out and visit another friend's church. I had never been to this church. Karen had been. And uh, she made the comment to me when I said, well, let's sign up and uh, we'll go to that church just to visit. And she said, uh, this will be a mistake because if you do it, you will want to go there. And uh, I said, ah, we'll go visit. And I knew 15 minutes after being here that God was calling us to this church. And it wasn't because there was a, a powerful sermon or anything. I just felt the presence of the Lord in this meeting. And the church family here is so amazing. And I, that I was just so, so attracted to this family because of the spirit I saw in the people here. And, you know, there's been ups and downs in the last 10 or 11 years, but I can tell you I very much feel that same way today. Um, I'm so excited about what's happening in this church. And uh, uh, with Scott's leadership and Drew and uh, the youth, it's just amazing uh, what's happening. And, um, you know, I think of the church family. We've grown close to many of you. Uh, of course, very close to Bill and Ann, friends for years, and, and we knew they were here, and it just kind of you know, reinforced uh, us wanting to be here. And a few months after being here, Nelson approached me, and, and I, prior to coming here, I didn't know Nelson, and um, Nelson said, Dean, I want you and Karen to consider something. We have a Sunday night uh, Bible study group that gets together, and we'd like for you to join us. And it was uh, five couples at that time, and I said, well, we'll think about that and pray about that, and certainly appreciated the invitation. And, you know, the more I 
thought about it, I was like, well, you know, wow, that's every Sunday night, you know, don't we get together with the kids and family, different things on Sunday nights, and, and I don't know if I want to give all that up, and we just felt clear that's what we need to do, and I can tell you that's been one of the neatest experiences of my life, because these guys have been, become our family as well, and I can tell you I look forward to Sunday, not only because Sunday morning, because of Sunday night as well, more than any other day of the week or any other time, because of that Christian fellowship, and it's just so important for me and my Christian walk, and I know for Karen, to be surrounded by by you, the church family, and our, our Sunday night group, our Sunday school class, and it just goes on and on. And it, it's just been so neat how God has orchestrated all of that and, and brought that together. You know, like I said, I, I didn't have a testimony. It was just like, you know, I, where I was out, you know, far from the Lord, and he struck me on the, the road that, you know, blinded me, and, you know, I didn't have that experience. I, I was so blessed to have a family that, you know, had the Christian principles from day one, and it's from the time I accepted Christ, and just it's been a, a daily walk with him uh, to try to just get closer each day. And, and I don't want anyone to think that, you know, wow, his life has just, you know, it's been it's pristine, no problems. We've had our share of issues, and uh, God has been there with us each step of the way and uh, worked through that. And I think if we got this scripture there, I want to put that up. I thought of the scripture I wanted to have up in it, um, to read, and it's the, the 23rd Psalm. Uh, Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, leads me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And, you know, as I think of my life, that is so true. He has always been there and led me through uh, each step. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy run a staff that comfort me. And you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy, goodness and love, in this version, I guess, will follow me all the days of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Again, we've had the valleys of the shadow of death in our in our families. Um, you know, we've gone through tough times. We have you know, I'm fifty one, Karen, I won't reveal her age, she's a little bit older than I am. But um, we all all our parents are, are gone. Our grandparents are gone. We have I have one aunt and one uncle left, and that's the only older generation left in either of our side of the family. We've, we've had at a, a young age kind of had to adopt to, adapt to, not have um, that older generation to turn to. Um, but this is our family, and um, I can't tell you how much each of you mean to me. And it's so exciting to see the youth, and I, you know, I think of how blessed I've been with the families, uh, family I've had at home and the parents, and I know not everybody's had that, and I know some of you guys haven't had that and don't have that now, but I can tell you what you do have, and that's this group behind you. You have this church family, and you have the family of God, the Christians everywhere, but Turn to this family. They will help you through. Um, I've got a couple other family members I want to introduce. Aaron and Winston, stand up. I'm a prayer parent for these two young men. And I want to tell you guys, you know, I pray for you every single morning. Every day. Every day. I know I don't text you every day because I'm not as good on that as I would like to be. But Actually, I don't want to be, but I do it. <laughs> but I want you guys to know I love you just like you're my own son. And I'm there for you every day. I'm praying for you. I'm lifting you up. And you can call me anytime. You're part of the family. So, Sorry to embarrass you, but it's just like that. But they're part of it. I um, guess I've covered everything I want to want to cover. Um, like I said, I, I hope it didn't put you to sleep. Uh, uh, it's not not real exciting, but my life has just been an amazing journey with Christ. Uh, each day, just taking a, you know an additional step, and I fall every day. I make mistakes every day, and but thankfully I know the Lord, and I know He's there to pick me up. And I know he's there for my kids, uh, my adopted kids, and uh, I'm just so thankful uh, for all he does. Um, bow with me in prayer, if you would. Lord, I'm just so thankful for uh, the life you have given me and how you've been with me each step of the way. Lord, thank you for all the Christian influences in my life, not only my biological family, but my church family. Lord, this church family. And these people mean so much to me and Karen and my family. Um, I, I can't thank them enough. I can't thank you enough. And I just pray that if there's anybody here today, you know, one of these young people, whatever, that, that doesn't have that experience, that they know this church family is here for them and loves them and is willing to, to pray for them and, and be with them to help them with anything they need. And if they don't know you, that it's, it's time for us to to come to know you. Thank you for how you've enriched my life and how you've led me, and I just praise you for it. Amen.
I've asked uh, Drew and the, the group to 